Hello and welcome. This is Christian from Vision 6D. We are going to look at how to print a Gantt chart. The first thing that we need to know is that what we see actually here on the Gantt chart is what is going to be printed out. So to print, you simply have to go to File and then you see here the print option. So this is what we, we can see. As it was shown on the Gantt chart, we see it exactly here. Any column that was on the Gantt chart, you see, you see them really presented here in the printing. If you want to zoom in to look at some details, there is that possibility here. And here below comes the legend that will also be printed to give some explanations on the diagram. Let's now go back to the Gantt chart. And here I will zoom in a bit more. So like that I've zoomed in. Now we are positioned and uh, we can uh, go back to the print. And you see here exactly what we've zoomed in. On the Gantt chart we will have it printed out. As you see we, we have some columns that you might not want to print. So in order to do that I go back here in the Gantt chart itself and I could diminish those columns but you can also simply make them disappear by hiding them. You hide the column and I will hide here the information column also. With that you, you see that we have the predecessors that appear here. We will simply go and look at the print preview what's going on. Since the predecessor is not completely shown on the diagram, it simply removed it. And you see that here at the front, the two columns we removed are really removed on the diagram itself. If now I want to change some of the displayed information in the table, so I can go to, to view and then I choose another table. We had entry and I will go now for costs. And you see here, I have the costs of my project that are shown up. So once again, here you can hide or add columns. So if I go now to print, we see here that I clearly have now the table of the costs. And if now it's the diagram that I would like to change, so I go back to entries here as we were in the beginning, and here down I choose, for example, the tracking Gantt. I have here now displayed as a diagram the tracking one. If you want to have more information about tracking diagrams, you can go to the video about tracking your project. So now let's look how it looks like into the print. And you see that it is really the tracking Gantt that is shown to be printed. There are also some other options that we can use at the printing. You see here we have the, the date, which is a possibility. So if we want to print for a specific range, I could, for example, here change. Uh, our range is from the beginning of the project, the 12th September to the end, the 27th uh, January. So I could say I'm more interested in what's happening beginning of uh, October. So I could say I want to take that range. Let's say till the 1st of November. And you see here that it positioned itself on that specific part. We have more options about printing into page setup. Here you see that you can define the orientation, but I use most of the time landscape. Here I can adjust um, the, the view uh, that I see. If I want to squeeze in a bit, I could put here 80%, for example, and we'll see that we see a bit more of the diagram. So this is a possibility that is interesting at the printing. Other possibilities that uh, we have. Of course you can change the paper size. If you have A3 it's most of the time better. Um, margins are like on any um, Microsoft Office 
headers you can add headers we'll see this more specifically in another video as well as footers legends are this part that you see down here that are convenient when you deal with people that don't know exactly what's the content of the the chart nevertheless uh, you can also say for example here I will go to this that I don't want any legend displayed so we'll see what happens and you have more space for the table and for the chart so let's go back on the legend another possibility uh, you, you see here it's to, to have a legend page what it means, we are going to have a look at it. It's that as before, you, you see that uh, we don't have the legend. So I browse through the different pages that I have. So I have every page with no legend. And I have here a specific page with the legend. With that, I think that I brought to you all the elements which are really relevant to, to printing. So now it's time for you to do your test, your attempts. And if you like the video, you can thumb up. You can also subscribe to the channel and send me some comments. So hope to see you soon and have a good time. Bye.